All right, we're gonna get after it tonight. Get that. Let's get some warm ups in here. What do you say? Oh, let's go back in my player. Customize here a little bit. Clothing. Is there any other good follows here? Holy gold. I feel like that's a, my type of follow right there. I don't want it to be like more relaxed fitting. Candy cane session. I can't tell if that blue fits it or not. Already have that? Let's just put the black one on. There we go. How do these hats look? Hmm. What about any sunglasses?
That's all that. The flamingos. Those guys are rocking that. Yeah. I just played till the guys are on. Alright, does it sound too loud for you guys? Because I have it at 50, 50 volume, but it feels pretty loud for me. This PGA Tour event brought to you by 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Trinity Invitational is about... Oh, 10 million hour wins, God. Gilvey, alongside PGA champion Rich Beam. Here in the booth and down on the course is John McCarthy. Thanks, I've uh, played it a little bit and mauled to start and then played quite a few. I think I'm 18 or 19 rounds into this PGA Tour season already. swath of land they've built this course on and I think it's going to be a day of fun. Let's do this. Ah. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Oh, <laughs> robbed. And this one will be for both. Right. Typical how we start. Sitting at one over for the day. Yeah, but if you look how they played the hole, it was disastrous. Lucky to walk away with a bogey. All right. And after a bogey at the last, they're looking for Five a good drive on this hole. Hybrid seven mile an hour wind. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. No. Okay. Not a bad shot that. Still yeah. a chance. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here. Is no, still I hate when they do this. They try to focus on this somebody else on the tour. And Let's I'm like, I don't care. Play now. They've left yourself a long way between the holes, so let's get this one close. All right to left. All right, take that two part. Attempt. Three feet to go here to the hole. So on the pro difficulty, you only have three so green reads for the entire the 18 holes. So I'm trying to save those five. for a par Is five here. Eight days a oh, week no. with the marks. Not short though. Playing up to an elevated green here. Actually, what if we do this? Not that far. No. Oh no. Okay. Good next club up. Go here. Yeah, perfect. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Mm. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. But in for birdie. This one's looking good. Always nice to have right. And unfortunately dropping back to even with the card. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Playing from around 240 yards. Three behind our leader. Going with a three wood here. Mm. Maybe needed hmm. a better club from the caddy. It's a bit strong, this. It's not good. Let's start to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Well, guys, I'm down on the fifth, and this is Patrick Canley's next shot. Getting ready to play their third. Three strokes off the lead. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. 
Okay, only down three. We're good. Fifth hole. The tee is yours. Nicely done. Three wins already this season. Going with the five iron here. God, I'm just not setting myself up for close ones. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. Short. Yeah, a bit long on that one. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Close. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. And with that, he'll stay right there at even par. Moving down the leaderboard, Luke, never a good thing. Let's keep it there. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. And we make it. No. Shot. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Dang. Let's head out to the seventh hole. And here we are with the third shot. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. This hole is one of the longest par fives on the course. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Oh, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? Looks like around 37 feet. Good luck. Second shot here on the seventh. Oh, that was pure. Getting ready to play their third. Currently four shots off the pace. Nicely done. This punt to move into the top 20 on the leaderboard. This one's tracking. Oh, oh so you guys are kidding me, man. And that should secure the par. Well done. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. And as the school card suggests, heading up the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. That reminded me of the big easy. Silky smooth. <sighs> Still a chance to attack this hole from the first cut. Going with the six iron here. Now yeah, that looked pretty good the whole way. Chance to get one under the card with this putt. This one's looking good. Pinch. Well done. Take the perk. And with it, he moves to one under par. Our current leader is enjoying a one shot lead off here at the ninth hole well let's see if they can roll off that boot at the last lovely momentum here that's well, heading for the fairway well there's uh, action of plenty all over the course let's have a look at this highlight from another player Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot third shot now Right. That, didn't you? Well, an important part here in terms of the tournament. A chance to move inside the top ten. All right. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies never hurt, Rich. Gotta like it. He's feeling it. Always love a new beginning. Here we are at the opening hole of the back nine, the tenth. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Hmm. Well, a little off the target with that one. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. That's tidy. 
Right on four feet. Should no make this one. way, the man. Game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Well, that hole's behind us. Uh, minus one, brings up minus four. John, do you have any info down there? Down here on the 11th hole, and Kuchar's just getting ready to hit. Well, they've found the bunker, but a chance to maybe save from there. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. Well played, mate. Time for the second shot at the 11. Come on. This looks to be heading to the green. Good. A wonderful shot. A chance for Bernie here on the 11th. 11 feet left to the hole. God, I hate using it on stuff like that, and this then it's straight in. Chance. And with that part, he's bounced back immediately from his previous drop shot. That's a good way to move into the top 10. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Sitting at two under par. Currently tied for eighth place. That sucks. A tad wayward, but still on the surface. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. I'm going straight that in. wasn't your best effort, was it? Nicely hold, and for par. He's in a share of seventh place. Moving up the leaderboard, I like it. And now teeing off on this par four hole. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay from earlier. Always lovely to see a long range bomb made. Let's recap it. For all the young stars out on tour, Patrick Cantlay, he seems to have come really to the fore five or six years after he thought he would, but now that he's here, ah, he seems to be here for the long haul. Well, I think he appreciates the game more than he did when he went through the spells where he was injured. I think that being away from the game really gave him a different outlook on it. And I think now he appreciates it. He plays it so well. He's methodical. He's talented. He really understands and knows Terrible. what he's capable he's playing of like absolute achieving bonds. in this game. And he does it. He's a competitor. I love the way he plays the game. Not enough. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Bogey. So close to the park. Losing it. Bogey it will be. Justin Thomas has built a two-stroke advantage over the field. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Oh, I'm sure the player is thinking about bouncing back after that poor bogey at the previous hole. Well, this one might need to get down a little. Never seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it. Oh, just missed. Can make this one. It's for par. I don't mind the look of this. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Let's head to the 15th for another highlight. Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. Oh, check this out. Showing us how it's done from the sand. And JT is currently our leader. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. To me, the short par four is the most underrated hole in all of golf. Let's hope this player will finally get aggressive and take the head cover off. Come on, do it. You know you want to. Do it. Time now to play the second shot on the 15th hole. Okay. Yeah, that one will play. Lining up the birdie putt here. I think I need to use it here. Two under for the final few holes to go. And that will take him to two under. Four, three, five. Got it. He's currently sharing Maybe that first position. Two
And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. This is a good time to get hot with the tournament on the line. Nicely done. Don't over club when playing to a green well below your feet. It's always a smart play to club down a bit. Going with the nine iron, I think. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Outside chance here for the birdie. Wow, that's misjudged. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Well hold. Trailing by four strokes. This hole is a par three. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. Opting for the three wood. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Oh, the win wreaks havoc with another golf ball. If he makes this, he'll save his par. Okay, let's head to the next. Johnny Mack, what's the news? I'm just here on the 18th hole. This is Matt Kuchar's next shot. Playing their fifth shot. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Justin Thomas is atop the leaderboard with a two-stroke lead. Well, it's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the 18th. Oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. This one should find the rough. Damn it. And here we are with the third shot. Four strokes off the lead. He played well today. Let's hold this for a 67. It's not playing well. Not too hard. Did not break? This putt just five feet away from the hole. It's on a good line. Okay, not far. And that will do it for him at this not event. Good, but... And as this event comes to a close, it'll be a top 10 finish for this player. Top 10s are always good, Luke. It gives you some confidence going into the next tournament. Okay. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Rival two points. What do you mean rival two points? That's stupid. Yes, Tell Taylor me. made. The boys are buzzing without telling me. The boys are buzzing. Dude, I'm buzzing. Are you buzzing? Perfect timing, by the way. Z Max you level round in? I got a whole round in. It only takes, well, I play a little fast, but it only takes like 20 minutes, 25. Okay. Um, okay. I, I hold down the speed every time I say, like, hit the ball. I'm, you know, I hit it. I'm, you can't tell. <laughs> like, it's not like we're playing to, like, slow it down at all, right? So, um, well, let me go back here. Let me change the settings because it uh, is loud as I'll get out. Audio. Uh, give, give me three minutes to mute here. I've got a quick whip up a drink. Did you get a drink? I have a beer. Correct.
I'm, I have four I, Michelobes I, left in the fridge. I was going to say, I don't think I have beer. Let me look. There's just the four I have left. Are you still talking on your headphones, or are you going to leave to do stuff? I'll just mute, because I'm going to get ice. Oh, you're good. Um, um, yeah, just give me 20 seconds to get ice and okay. get situated. Um, but yeah, so I've been playing a little bit. And um, I don't know if you saw on the tour. Is it the vibe? Um, I Is this have, the vibe? I, so like in between I had like if I have 30 minutes or less or 35 or less between, you know, calls and stuff, this is something that'll be great. I could play around yeah. in 20 minutes and good to go. And so <clears throat> that's what I did today. So um, the schedule, I've already played 21 rounds in the PGA season. <laughs> You're in the PGA? Did you yeah, start so, Corn Fairy? Or yes. Did you, did so, you start? I, so I started the Corn Fairy, <laughs> played those rounds to get me into the PGA, even took an extra round in there, and then I've played 21 in here out of How the long did it take 33. You to, so I started like the very first option, which is like you have to play to get into the Corn Fairy or whatever. Yes, yes. Whatever the first option was, I did. Because I was like, I want to do it from the beginning, right? So oh, yeah. I think... I played the first one. It was like one of my first couple games, so I didn't qualify because Kyle and I played like three rounds, I think, prior. We played one versus us, but I was on the beginner difficulty. And then we played online against two people and we had mm -hmm. to play as the pro difficulty. Oh, no. And we, I sucked. I'm here. OK. And so I could play as the pro difficulty and I sucked. So then I played the first thing in order to get into the corn fear or something. I don't think I qualified for that one. And then I qualified for the Corn Fairy, played, did well in that one. I think did the second one and then the third option or something. Maybe I didn't qualify. I had to do another double down. Um, but yeah, main How events. How long does it played. take to get to PGA? Like 10 uh, rounds, 20 rounds? No, I think four to five. Maybe it took me a little oh, longer really? to get there. Yeah, I think it's like the Corn Fairy, then it's something else, then it's the PGA. It's like Corn Fairy. Uh-huh. The next section and then the thing so it might be like one or two games in each but because i sucked you know uh top tens i have uh 15 victories i have three on the season so every time you play mm -hmm. you pretty much get like um i think it's 250 coins every time you like win a win a game or like complete it and then you get your uh on the tour, you have sponsors, so you get extra stuff and unlock more clubs and get coins. So, okay. so that's how you can get more stuff, um, which is great. And so the good thing is the clubs aren't the clubs you can unlock, I think, are better than the ones you can buy. But I think they do that because the more you play, the better you can unlock those. It's just more forgiveness. Uh -huh. But the, the fun ones you start off with are great as well. So, all right, all right. Um, and how do we play together? Yeah, so create an online match uh, for your in game party. And then what I do here is we will try out um, recommended. It filters. seems as though that Kyle, I think Kyle just joined uh, the, 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 the Discord. So he's going to be close nice. behind us. So I don't know if we have the ability to just play the three of us. Or yes, yeah, we do. Is it something where we play with a fourth person? We or... could play with just three. Um, easy. Do we want to go easy, easiest, medium, hard, hardest? We can do an easiest to start, and then we'll go from there. No, that doesn't matter to me. If you if you and Kyle are both in like the medium settings, let's just do the medium settings. I don't care if I go plus twelve. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. Let's change course here. More filters. Oh no, that's not that. Um, trending. In fuck it, we're going to PC Sawgrass. Ooh, for, so I know in uh, future. Are you just? Did you create a private match? Yes. Yep. So okay. on here, I think. Yeah. So you, local match is just, I think, on your same Xbox, right? 
matchmaking is when we go online and create a private match for in-game party. So what I'll do is I'll set this up and then I invite you to the party. Cool. So the format, you can do stroke. Also, this Kentucky Mule is tasting something different. Ooh, I love that for us. Oh boy. So you can do scrambles, alternate shots, four balls. So Kyle and I did a scramble online. And you can choose the ball and stuff. We'll just do stroke play to start here, I guess. Rolls, tees. Oh, you can choose your own tee, whatever you want to go to. Pins, full length. Conditions. Def normal. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So everything should be good. Oh, okay, here we go. Um, <coughs> oh, shit, do I have to do it this way? Friends, out of friend. Do. Oh, it does do. Does it? Is setting up a match for us, Kyle. FYI. Well, I'm trying to. <laughs> and if you can't, Kyle, can you? Because <laughs> I sure can. <laughs> I guess I. Oh wait, I see. I hit start, and I go to group. I can invite. I can send an invite. Yeah, the problem is I'm on Steam, but I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Because we've played on like Apex and other stuff, so it's like I don't understand how I can't. I have CV Clemson, but obviously that's not it. Not a friend. Finish party. Send an invite. Hmm. I might have to just go back to the Xbox and do it. Because I don't know how to add you guys on Steam. Did you, did you do it off of Steam or off of Xbox when you played with Kyle earlier? Xbox. So I might have to just go there and not stream it, which is fine too. Is there a way it, you don't see me online, do you? Uh, both accounts of yours, both McCurdy22 and Sneaky Weasel220, are both quote unquote offline, but so is Kyle. Uh, this Kyle is also says online. On oh, my no, no, it says online now. Oh, interesting. Um, game. Yeah, I can't invite you to a game, which is weird. Maybe try to invite me to a game. Um, but if you if you do a private match, you can do a room name and a room password, and we'll be able to get in. Because it says join private match. Name and password. And to put in a name and password. Matt. Just time to uh, crazy ball. Password. Uh, we're on Xbox. Hi. Capital A. <laughs> oh wait. Yeah, capital H, capital I. Confirm. Creating room. 
case that you created the room. Yep, it's M A T T, all caps. And then password is H I, all caps. Okay. Have caps. Ooh, left bumper or left analog? Sorry, yeah, I probably I should have done caps. Back That's back. my bad. Yeah, sorry. We got I didn't think about it. Matt, all caps. Yep. Password? H I. Probably should pick something closer to each other, too. We're good. Let's see. Failed to join the match. No match in this name. Password was found. Huh. Let me try again. M A T T. Maybe there's no cross play. I don't know. Yeah, we failed. All right. No worries. Uh, I will so join I, you guys. Let me see if I can create one. Okay. Before you, before you. Uh, name and password. It's not giving me like how to do a name and password. I'll try the same thing. Matt. Oh, man. So my password's going to be H I I. All caps for everything. Matt and hi, but it's hi with M for H I I. Failed to join the match. No match was found. This name and password. Okay. It's creating now. It's creating now. Oh, okay. Join match. Uh, okay. I think All I caps, Matt. Mm hmm. Capital H I I. Capital I I. Confirm. Yep. Failed to join the match. Nothing. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna just hop over to Xbox. So it's cool. We'll figure it out another time too. Mm. Oh, well, I can. No, 